In Windchill, the set state functionality is one way of moving an object up or down through its life cycle. Here I am on the structure tab of a CAD assembly that I have stored in Windchill. Here you can see the bill of materials. It's got a couple components here for the base and the casing of it. And then it's got a few different connectors and back shells in here. If you take a look over on the right hand side, in this panel, it shows for the assembly its various different life cycle states. You can see that it currently has design highlighted, but there are also states for prototype, released, obsolescence, and under review. If I go over to the details tab, down here, you can see the same information for the states, and it also lists the lifecycle template. It's using a template called One Phase Development, which has these different lifecycle states in there. Let's say that I want to move this up. Let's say for some reason that I want to move it all the way up to released. To do that, normally you would use one of the standard mechanisms like creating a new promotion request. You can also use change notices for releasing different objects or changing their life cycle state. But sometimes you'll have a situation where you're trying to get something out, the person who needs to review it can't get to wind chill and they might give you a verbal okay or another situation that I've seen is that sometimes people don't do the reviews that they're supposed to do and again you just need to get it released or maybe you need to get it back to in work or some kind of a concept stage and so you can use set state instead and one thing to note about set state very few people will likely have this permission to use the functionality. Typically, it's just for the administrators and maybe some high up people on the team will have access to set state. All right, so I have clicked on the command. You can see I have all the different objects listed in here. And in this particular case, the connector had a family table, so it grabbed all the other family table instances in here as well. The reason it grabbed everything is that if you go to the dependence dropdown list, by default, this is set to required. You can actually use preferences inside of Windchill for changing this. But let me go back over here. Let's say I don't want any of these objects in here. I'm going to select the first one in the list. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to grab all the common hardware components, the back shell, as well as all these different connectors. And then you can use this button over here to remove the selected objects. And that way the list is a lot shorter. Right now, it says the target state is design, which is the same as the current state. So set state would do nothing in this case. You can use the drop down list to select the target state that you want. If you want to do it for multiple objects, you can select those objects. Here I am using the select all rows button. And then here we have the target state. And from the drop down list, I could say, hey, yeah, let's get this stuff released because we need to send it to manufacturing. So now I've got the target state set. Here down at the bottom, you have OK, Cancel, and Options. Options doesn't really do anything. It allows you to create a baseline if you want to, but I'm not going to create a baseline for that. And be aware that you have a whole bunch of other different buttons over here for grabbing related objects. So for example, I could also collect the related parts in here as well. Let's once again select all rows and set everything to be set to released. And when you're doing something like set state, you really want to apply the action to the models and their WT parts at the same time. If you don't do that, you can end up disconnecting the WT part from the CAD model. And in order to sync them back up, it is like a 20 step process and your windchill administrators will have to do that for you and they're not going to be happy with you because of that. And again, there are preferences you can set to make it automatically collect the related WT parts as well to make sure that people grab those too. And you can also do things like collect the related drawings and here's for the family table objects and generics and so forth and so on, related documents, etc. But again, I've got the objects in here. I've got the target state set 
and then we can click on the OK button and it says processing over here. All right, now let's go back over to the structure tab and I can see that these objects are now set to release by using the set state functionality. Here you can see that in the attributes tab, release is highlighted for the assembly listed in here as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.